my bike is going to overheat. Let's go this way. Right now I'm on campus, um, the Wellman and Mary campus. Like I live kind of near the university. The College of William and Mary. Or as some people like to call it, William and Larry College. Just out here, cruising around. Um, yeah, I had to go send out a package. Oopsies, looks like someone got pulled over. There's always cops on campus, which sucks. So you gotta be really careful about speeding. I mean, it's not like I really have anything to worry about, because I don't speed anyways. What is this? It's like an old person tour or something. Very, very weird. But ah, I love riding around the campus because you usually see all the hot college chicks going out, riding, not riding, but walking around. And now that the weather's warming up, there are a lot of them are out there jogging. And little bits of their clothing starts coming off, such as shirts. Urgh. You know what? I'm going to redo part of that video because it, <laughs> it just sounded too much like I was complaining it just last video I was talking about how I'm trying not to complain about anything what the hell man whose great idea was put life size life size oh boy oh I know I'm on the rock side of the road I just wanted to ride over that there's like big humongous rocks on the road I guess it's like a natural <laughs> A natural speed bump? I don't know. Huh? I thought I heard a jingle from like um the what's it called? Ah, ice cream truck. But um, yeah, I'm trying to cut costs. I'm I went for a week seeing how well I could not use my cell phone for like the internet and Twitter and Foursquare and all those fun little unnecessary applications. I was um, seeing how long I could go without it and I mean I probably used it a few times over the past week and I I'm just fine. I mean I guess I don't really do that stuff as much but um I'm gonna I'm trying to get a normal phone now, a dumb phone, so I can save on my cell phone bill. It's cutting down an extra $30 a month for Verizon, and um, I think I can do it. I mean, believe it or not, there is life outside of the smartphone world. <laughs> I mean, all I really use the phone lately for is calling people, which is kind of rare, actually, and texting. So. I want to get a normal phone, you know, with the QWERTY keypad and everything. Not not a, uh, a droid or iPhone or anything. And try to save some money. And after a couple months of just no using a normal phone, um, my phone will basically pay for itself for the money I'm saving, not paying for data fees and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Save some money. The um, reason I'm doing all this is because I just recently quit my job. I'm currently unemployed. Just a bum now. Well, I'm, not, I'm not entirely a bum. I'm going to school still. So, I want to focus on my studies and then after traveling and stuff this summer, hopefully, I'm uh, going to find a new job or something, I don't know, we'll see. I'm just gonna go with the flow, see how everything goes. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I've been kind of dailing my motorcycle the past week and a half, almost two weeks now. Just taking my motorcycle everywhere. Because I no longer have a car to myself anymore. Uh, my mom's van basically almost bit the dust. We don't know if it's a blown head gasket or maybe, I don't know, we don't know exactly, and we brought it to the mechanic, and he said, well, before I did the work on this, you can't exactly pinpoint it right away, so 
there's no guarantee how long this will last after you we repair it and they said well in the cost and everything it, it's not even going to be worth it to repair basically meaning the repairs are going to be more than the, what the van is actually worth and so we're kind of in a we're kind of stuck right now we don't know if we're going to repair the van and have her use it for a couple months or still use it because there's no guarantee of how long it will continue to you know be fixed for um, all he knows or it could break again in the next few months and then we have to dump another grand into fixing it so right now we're the mechanic's saying it's not worth it to fix it so my mom's trying to think of what to do uh, right now the car is still at the mechanic's place and <clears throat> my voice just cracked but that's cool because I am a forever teenager going through puberty <laughs> so so my car, my uh, my mom has been using my car basically all the time, which uh, leaves me with my motorcycle. Which I, mean, I I have no problem. It's fine. I love my motorcycle, and I have no problem dailing my motorcycle. But we don't know how long it's going to go for. Right now, all I have is my motorcycle, which is fine, which is you know more than a lot of people have. But it may be until like June or July until I get my car back or until my mom gets a car or something we don't know exactly what we're doing but um she is broke she has no money she kind of got a not a pay cut but insurance is taking out more money from her paychecks now so that she's actually not making much and she's already barely getting by before and now it's now she can't even get by month to month and um so we don't know if we're going to get this car fixed or not. So my mom needs a new car. And come to find out, my sister also needs a new car. <laughs> her inspection was due last month. And her control arm, she has the same car except one year older. It's a Ford Windstar 97. Her control arms are going. I think one of them is already gone. But the other one is still like hanging on to its last leg or something. And it basically won't pass inspection. Inspection is due last month. So she was, she's been driving around with just this, <laughs> with a past inspection. Not past, you know, past due inspection. And so, it might not even be worth it for her to fix the, that car. Because that's actually in less, it's uh, worth even less than what my mom's van is. And my sister can't buy a new car right now because she's broke as well. She She's working at a restaurant. So my sister's broke, she needs a new van. My mom is broke, she needs a new van. Now I'm unemployed, and I have money saved for all my trips and stuff, but I have a very bad feeling my mom's gonna start borrowing some. She's already borrowed a couple hundred from me. Um, she said she's gonna pay me back, we'll see. But I'm fine now, but she needs a new van and, she, ugh. <laughs> I'm not complaining or anything. <laughs>